got cruise control, babe. So we got it like this. Basically, already started. Today, I'm going to start popping ribbons. And then demolition. getting ready to do the roof race so I'm taking off all the sections of the bus uh, can't see them right here between so we start off like this and we're getting them opened up like this so we can get get our uh, inch and a quarter tubing inside these slots after we cut the holes or uh, cut the uh, braces here so let's get at her We're raising this roof. Check it out inside. Getting everything ready to go. Put jacks on the floor. Windows are all out. We got our uh, bus lifting apparatuses over here. Mm -hmm. Yep, she should do just fine. Woo Roof is officially raised. <laughs> this is what we used uh, to separate and raise the roof. Um, we left them just far enough apart that they could be cut and then Right over here, we had a roof or a jack, a big jack, right here. And I screwed this 2x4 to there so that we could put our post. The post came down to the jack, but when I screwed it to there, that allowed, um, well, A, it wasn't falling on anyone's head when we were jacking up and then adjusting things, but you could actually push the post over to adjust the whole roof there's a lot like there's it was super super easy but this is kind of how it worked as we raised the roof with the roof jack or with the jacks these separated and then all we did was just spin these guys down I'm just gonna show you what we were using for taking out all the rivets we found I found the easiest I tried to every friggin way possible so this is what we were kind of doing here um, So that's what we were working with. So I used the pin to push the pins on the rivets in, and then I used uh, this flat one, flat chisel to shear them off. We got the first sheet up. Would you just look at it?
sandblasting done. This sucks so bad. Well, that's what uh, that's what we're changing now. That's pretty rusty. I welded uh, half inch uh, steel on the bottoms of them to make up the difference of two and three quarter. And we welded those all together and then, so those are all nice and new and fancy and pretty. Sheet it on top. Way better, solid. We got uh, the floor. Finished, thank God for that. Look at that, doesn't that look pretty? I got a little hole there, uh, which I'm gonna patch when I get closer to it. I'm gonna do one, uh, one layer of one inch, one layer of two inch, and uh, yeah, sweet, let's go. Second layer of foam, it's going good. Measuring from uh, one side to the other and the shortest point uh, to get these to fit in. So I'm going to spray foam this this hole after. And then uh, I'm going to foam the rest of this floor first thing this morning because I have my plumber coming to give me a hand today to run all the water lines to the floor. So here we go. Sweet! Foam's all down, the water lines are all run, and uh, we start sheeting, we start sheeting for tomorrow. Um, one thing I've learned, holy crap you get chocks from foam, touching anything, just rubbing your legs, your knees, or skidding around on it, your feet, or uh, kneeling down on it and touching anything, wow. Anyway, take a look. All the main lines are gonna come out here, right behind the seat into um, a section um, and then the hot water tank won't be there but all lanes come in there that way that everything is distributed properly and then yeah spray foamed around the perimeter after getting everything done all the main lines booyah Back door is almost ready. We're gonna cut holes in it to put window a window in it for the back of the bedroom. This is how it kind of goes together, sits over top of one another. I'm gonna put a first coat of clear on it right now. I am 
putting the subfloor down. Started a little bit already, got two sheets, two sheets down. I'm gonna do this third sheet there right now. So let's get her done. Learn this neat little trick on YouTube. Alrighty, well, finally we made some decisions. We're actually putting rock saw in the walls instead of in or spray foaming. Check that out, guys! This is awesome. It saves so much time. It doesn't dull my knife blades. Can't complain with this, guys. Can't complain. With all the quotes that we got, it was going to be like $3,500 with taxes in. Part of that, it all comes together with all our wires being foamed in, not being able to move anything, and that kind of made me a little nervous. Um, and then I've also been hearing too with spray foam that it likes to hold water, so if any water does get in, um, it will rust out my steel frame and all that, which isn't really what we want. We're going with rock saw, and I got three and a half inches here. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just cutting some pieces. They're just big enough to go to the wall and inside these. And that seems to be working. It's coming along, guys. Look at all these. Getting all of those, all that insulation in. Come on. Still got this side to do, but I got the ceiling yet to do. But that's okay. Oh, there. Look at that. Look, would you just look at it? I'm going to vapor bury it right now. Get it all ready to rock and roll. We start boarding, hopefully, maybe this week. Get the plastic all on. Got to say, having this thing fully insulated has been awesome. So, can't argue with that. It's way nicer in here to work. It's cold as heck outside, so, pretty sweet. Of course, my uh, diesel heater, again, the pump isn't working, so I'm not really sure what to do with it, but so just like. But here we are, we're strapping the ceiling, guys. And uh, we're using 3 8 ply, I'm ripping them into like two inch strips, and throwing them up, and that's gonna hold our um, lights, our lines for our lights and stuff, we're just gonna throw them in between the plastic and those, and it's gonna be for our uh, cedar ceiling. Sweet! Good morning, everybody! It is New Year's Eve. Um, look at that, we got it all strapped, ready to rock and roll. Woo! And uh, we're gonna start sheeting walls today with uh, some half inch ply. And uh, getting there. It's on. Oh, makes big difference in here.
we have a loft for the kids. Oh, man. It's huge, too. It's like 48 inches across. And then, like, over 7 feet wide. So, there's a little angle in it uh, where the door comes in, just so we don't smash our heads off of things. We wanted some place for the kids to play so we can still work on the bus and the kids can kind of do their own thing, right? So, I just put some temporary bracing and stuff and uh, railings up here. It's a disaster. I'm sorry. It's a disaster. What do you think of that? I love it! How cool is that? Awesome. Hi. Emmett, hello. <laughs> oh! Just watch your head getting in. Finally got a little cleaned up in here. A little sheeting on the walls. My disor or uh, my organized mess back here. That's gonna be like that for a little while, probably. Yeah, it's coming along. Our kick-ass homemade door that splits in two. It's gonna be sweet. Things getting real today, guys. We got some cedar going up on the ceiling. How freaking exciting is this? Can't wait. Got the help of my brother right now. Loops. I'm not cutting these at all. We're just gonna tie 
like these. Anyway, you can see that little those teeth. That's where we're gonna put the wire through or squish it into, so it makes contact with the wire on the inside.
spacious. I was worried about it being like super, feeling like it's super closed in, but that's not bad at all. Oh, my God. 